Okay, so what you need is a gauge block with a threaded, um, I don't know what you call that. I'm gonna call it a probe. <laughs> Um, and I just found this uh, little stud thing that's the right length. Um, it's a 3 8 inch bolt. Here's another one that I was using. <clears throat> gauge blocks typically, this is like a gauge block from Little Machine Shop, and uh, they have threaded inserts. Like, some of the holes are threaded, some of them are not. And I have no idea if this is the proper use of a gauge block thread or what, but it works fine for what I needed. I was all ready to make one, and then I realized that in our spare parts drawer we had um, several of them in different configurations. So this is the one that works best for the router. So you run your G-code, and it uh, cuts with the first tool and then um, it'll stop. Uh, it'll prompt you to change the tool and it'll retract to uh, a safe height at which point you turn the spindle off obviously. So um, so there's your end mill. Uh, I'm going to just bring in my little oops, a little tight. I'm going to bring in my adjustable gauge block and just turn that up until it's snug. And you want to kind of feel it out. Right now, you can hear that. It's it's rubbing up against it. I actually would take it up to there and then back it off maybe a quarter turn or an eighth turn. Something like that. <clears throat> you don't You don't want it too tight. And I'll show you why in a second. Okay, so once you get that the way you want it, pull that out. <clears throat> Loosen the bit. Put your new one in. And I'm just leaving that loose for now. And then literally just let that sit on the top of your gauge block. Tighten it up. Hit the camera. Um, so you can see I'm, I'm moving that back and forth and it's not rubbing. If I take up that slack that I gave it before, it's rubbing. So it's kind of the seat of the pants way to do it, but um, it actually works out to be really accurate. Um, so uh, that's how I do it. Um, gauge, threaded gauge blocks are $19.95 at the little machine shop. Um, dot com. And uh, they look like this, as I said before. <coughs> And uh, the other option is to um, go with the bit setter, um, which is 120 bucks from Carbide. Um.